Hi guys, my name is Layla Sophia. I am an artist and fine jewelry designer. If you like contemporary fine jewelry, if you like luxury handbags, all things interiors, and I have some fun videos for you. You guys, okay. All of your favorite creators here are doing this same video, okay, but I had to weigh in. These are going to be my absolute favorite bags for this coming summer. But first and foremost, if you guys are new here, thank you so, so much for tuning in. I came in to see you in all of my future videos. Make sure that you like this video, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram at Layla Sophia Jewelry. I put out videos every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday, and so I cannot wait to see you guys in the next one. Okay, as I said, of course, like everybody is doing this video, I've tried really hard not to watch any of these so that hopefully I don't get influenced myself. I know, the very paradoxical. More so like Inception of all the influencer getting influenced anyways. But I thought like, let me organically try to find all of my favorite summer bags separately. And then we'll compare and contrast, okay? The first one, again, not sure if anybody's talked about this, but from my love, who I just, I feel like every single piece that drops, I keep loving her more and more and more from Miss Magda Boutram. The Maxi Devana. I'm not sure, we know I'm terrible at pronouncing things. The Maxi Devana bag, I am obsessed. Does this not give like freaking fabulous, gorgeous out on the town for a summer date night? Like it's summer, but not obvious, but a little romantic with a little bit of an edgy twist. I am literally obsessed with the leather fabric flowers that she did. Like, it's just, it has my entire heart as I'm waiting, as I'm patiently waiting for her new brown bag collection to drop which has been teased and I'm like, okay. The pre-fall clothing and I think maybe some accessories dropped, but those bags, she's like, oh, wait, wait. Everybody knows how good they're about to be. So I already know it's gonna be so worth the wait. But in the meantime, pick any Magda Boutram, like truly, don't you think of this? Like cute little, even just like the little like rosebud colorful bags or the satin bags. Oh my gosh, or the ones with rhinestones. Am I alone here? Like, don't you guys just picture these like on the French Riviera in July? like? Magda Boutram screams romantic, edgy, classy, but still really summer. Something about it is really light. Oh my gosh, but I'm obsessed with this one bag. I like both sizes, obviously, but for some reason, I just really, really, really like the Maxi Devana, and again, in the black or the white, but it's just, it's all the elements for me. She is, she is honestly such a brilliant designer. We're gonna throw in some wild cards, okay? From Scaparelli. Are you kidding me? Okay, there are several. There's a Raffia face bag, and there's also a Raffia secret bag. Oh my, like, again, I am a, but a mere peasant compared to this, okay? I sadly cannot splurge on a bag to this, you know, unique, just like fun, occasional level, but if you can, God bless. I wish I was at that level already. One day, maybe. We already know how obsessed I am with the secret pochette. I don't need to repeat myself for the thousandth time. Again, another fall collection that I am lit at the edge of my seat, ready. Oh my, ready to view. I, I'm not even, I don't know if I'm even ready to view all the goodness that's about to come our way. But can we talk about these bags in Raffia? It's just like, it's the fabulous thing that we needed on top of an already the most fabulous collection of all time. We already know how obsessed I am with the play aspect. Like I think that is the perfect word to use for Danielle Rosebury. Like couture meets playfulness. There's something so wholeheartedly, genuinely fun about all of his pieces. And the wit, like the things I would do for this black secret pochette in Raffia. Like I, honestly, it is so chic. Like I think Tamara needs this bag, right? Like, can you imagine someone? Oh my gosh, hello, meeting of the minds. Could you picture this, a Magda Boutram black little dress with this bag? Does it literally get any more fab? Like, I don't think it gets any more fabulous than that. And speak of play, okay? From Bottega Veneta, I've already talked about, which I lovingly call the sardine with a mohawk in Raffia. Of course, I did, I spoke many minutes on a video about that already, but yes, that is such a fun option. But also another bag style that I think is completely underrated, the solstice bag. We already know my thoughts. If a medium solstice bag happens to show up in my collection one day, don't be surprised at all because I really, really want one. And then I said another designer, like this is really true, another designer who adds playfulness into their collections, Mr. Matthew Blazy for Bottega Veneta. Okay, because the Raffia solstice bag, again, it's giving south of France. It's giving, oh, I'm just going to Ibiza for the weekend. I'm just going to Anguilla. It's just, we're just gonna pop on over for a fun little trip like, the pom-poms, 
need I say any more? This bag is so, 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 so fun. How could I even choose? So I'm not going to. How could I even choose one of these literally drop dead gorgeous summer bags from Celine? How, like, we're not gonna make any of us choose, okay? The tote bag, literally, not to, this is gonna sound really horrible, but Mary, you know how much I love you. These bags, Mary posted Mary from Mary's room, everybody. Always, you know, my dear friend over here, the way that those bags looked, oh my goodness. Like, it's the Celine summer bags for me, okay? They're so incredible. I love the Raffia and I love the Wicker. And again, I'm gonna go ahead and say, actually, there's even an other, there's another element to these because it's the mixing of the materials for me. It's the Raffia or Wicker with leather with the metal Triumph detail. I'm dying again. I wish I was this fabulous to pull this off for like a summer fun look. Hopefully one day. I'm not sure if I'm at that level to splurge on a bag of this like level of beauty though. If I were to be at that level though, it, it, it honestly, it would be one of these fabulous Eddie Sillman collections. Eddie Sillman, please, 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 please pay, pay that man what he needs to be paid. Okay, you need to stay at Celine for as long as possible. The way the row blessed us, not only this season, but last season, and I think even two seasons ago, if you can get your hands on any of the raffia bags from the row, because they do sprinkle in, just saying, there's one on Essence right now, it's, I don't even want to say that because it might be gone by the time I post this video, but check the stockists, sometimes they do float in, even a season after, especially a season after sometimes, the way that they're playing with our hearts, and we already know what I want, we already know what I want, and we already know what I'm going to talk about because the Mara coat, summer in a bag, summer in a bag, is this not the most perfect, chic, like, Again, flowy white button down with like linen pants on the beach, walking with this bag. It's perfect. It's perfection. Honestly, they can do no, again, this is, a, this is the most me list as they all are. But just think about how, like, they are not only, of course, you know, my collection of the row is definitely my biggest in my entire collection. Meaning, to put it simply, my entire collection is, you know, the row is like almost a third of my collection. I just realized that's quite a lot. So obviously I'm a stan. I don't need to tell it to anybody for the 18th time, but like, how are you that good at working with the best of leathers? And then how are you that good at weaving them into the most perfect summer bags? It's just not even fair, okay? The summer summer from the row is me. It's how I dress in the summer. It's how I always dress in the summer. You're always gonna find me in the most minimalist, all black, oh, all tonal, whatever outfit, and then add on the Mara tote. It's it's literal perfection, okay? Another collection that I would be, it would be a crime to pick just one from. So look at the entire Cult Gaia website because here's a wild card in the sea of raffia and like really cool woven bags. I also think it's cool to go quite literal and do like an oceany moment, do something from the sea the Velez bag in particular from Cult Gaia. Like again, if you're going to a summer wedding, oh my gosh, I didn't even think about that. If you're going to a summer wedding, are you kidding me? This bag is perfect. Most Cult Gaia bags are kind of perfection for weddings just in case you're ever looking, but I think they really shine over the summer and so many of their bags, like especially the really cool ones with like the details that you're supposed to wear them over your forearm. Like it's kind of perfect for like summer arms out it's giving just the perfect companion to a really beautiful dress but this one in particular it's like this really 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 pretty mother of pearl oyster vibe i love cult gaia for like a really cool summery bag oh my gosh now i want like five and last but like honestly the designer that is most synonymous with summer bags so like I, of course like Last on this list, only because I really should just do an entire video on the Loewe bags, because Loewe is gonna always give us the most, per the most literal perfect bags for summer. Again, how could I literally pick? I am kind of obsessing over the like basket bag, the pebble bag. Oh my gosh, which I've talked about before. But in Raffia, that is so amazing. And I love the Paseo bag, which I've talked about a lot. And I love, I am kind of obsessing over the new Paseo summer bag style because it's giving like, okay, we know this is a Loewe bag, but it's a little bit different. It makes you kind of do a double take in the best of ways. I love the shape of it, but it's simple. Literally pick any bag from Loewe, okay? Even, and I am not like, this is controversial. I'm really sorry because I know people that have a puzzle bag, it's their favorite bag in the entire world. Clearly, 
I'm a pouch gal, and so the puzzle bag has never pulled at my heartstrings. And then I saw the summer collections and I said, hold on, I'm feeling something that I've never felt before. Like, honestly, I love this year's. I don't know if it's something about the color combination, but the summer puzzle bags, oh my gosh, I just realized my mom might need one. For some reason, that like army green, how these designers, the, these designers, because Jonathan, how do you do this? How do you do this every single year? It's the color combinations for me, like it's muddled, but it's still really cool. It's the perfect, 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 perfect summer collection. And you guys, that has been my most favorite, oh my gosh, top picks for this year's summer bags. I can't wait to hear what your thoughts are. Also, which ones did I miss? What's on your list that I didn't talk about that maybe we all need to also know about? Thank you guys so much as always for watching and I can't wait to see my next one. Bye guys.